Hi, I am Shirt from Shirt the Geek HD and welcome to this quick comparison of OnePlus One versus OnePlus Two. In this video, I will give my impression on this. So let me come you with the dates which they were unveiled. So the OnePlus One was unveiled on April 2014 and the OnePlus Two was unveiled on August 2015. So what's the EMA any difference? Let's check it out. So let me come to you with the OnePlus One. So the OnePlus One has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor. It's mainly or not outdated actually, but it's Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 is also a very good. But the OnePlus 2 clearly wins this because it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor. But Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 is notorious because of its eating issues. But fortunately, the OnePlus 2 is immune to these eating issues. It only raises to a negative of 46. So now to the camera modes, the OnePlus One lacks OIS, that's optical image stabilization. So when you are recording a video, you will find that the video is becoming shaky. But this is not the case of OnePlus Two. It, in this segment also, OnePlus Two clearly wins this because they, it has enabled OIS that that you, you won't get any shaky footages. Handheld recordings. Next one is that the OnePlus Two in dimension and is sorted very great. It, it is not heavier than the OnePlus. Two, but one plus one is heavier but I won't recommend that it's very heavier it's just average a decent phone in dimension also the next thing is that the camera is not that great on the one plus one this is not the case with the one plus two the one plus two has a better camera with laser autofocus and also got a f2.0 aperture I won't tell that the camera on the one plus one is not that it has a Sony GXMR sensor but point of precision the one plus two will clearly wins because of its advanced techniques of OIS and other things like that. Also its aperture is greater than those than the f1.1 1.9 using the OnePlus One but the OnePlus Two is powered by one f2.0 aperture for great low light photography. Now come to the software the OnePlus One is powered by a Cyanogen Mod 11 that's a pre-installed software when you buy this and the further they included an update known as Cyanogen Mod 12 in this they upgraded the OS version to 5.1.2 but the main thing that I don't like about Cyanogen is that it's, it has a, it's a buggy software. But in terms of customization that it uses, it's a great one. In the other case, the OnePlus 2 is having an oxygen ocean. This OS is main, mainly made by the OnePlus T. So it lacks customization and it's truly similar to what you get on stock Android. But you won't bother it because it's not just a problem for you. New features have been introduced on this OnePlus 2. That's laser photo focusing as well as this USB Type-C port. That means your phone is future proof because of this. Also the OnePlus 2 has a fingerprint scanner. That's a new thing in the market because now today the fingerprint scanner market is getting more aggressive. But the OnePlus 1 does lack that. So the next thing that differentiates is that it the OnePlus One has a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection whereas the OnePlus Two has a Corning Gorilla Glass 4 protection. None of them are different but Corning claims that Corning Gorilla Glass 4 has more protection. In that sequence, OnePlus Two does win in screen protection. The OnePlus One is available for 3GB RAM whereas the OnePlus Two is available with 3GB as well as 4GB RAM. But the price tags may vary in 25 to 24,000 rupees you will get a 4GB RAM variant also you can get a 3GB RAM variant if you down up your budget now coming to the front facing camera I have mixed performance in this the two of them have things but the OnePlus One has no wide angle lenses so you cannot get this wide selfie if you are crazy about selfies but the OnePlus 2 has a wide angle sign and in this race also the OnePlus 2 wins so the main thing that's a price everything needs a price if the OnePlus team priced it about 25 26,000 rupees for the OnePlus 2, no one will buy, but if they place it aggressively, everyone will take a look at it. So let me tell you about the price. For the OnePlus 1 in India, it's available for 21,998 rupees, whereas the OnePlus 2 is available for approximately 25,000 rupees. The thing that is available for the OnePlus 1 is that negotiations will be available. Due to the release of OnePlus 2, the, the manufacturer will automatically Reduce the price of this to 17 or 18,000. So in the in that condition, OnePlus 2 has a arrow in it. So let me come to my wording. What, which should which one should you buy, the OnePlus One or the OnePlus Two? OnePlus Two. So for for some small improvements in camera, processor, screen, and some new features, OnePlus Two is a great deal. But you are paying 3,000 rupees extra compared to OnePlus One. In the other end, the price of OnePlus One will be discounted or negotiable because the, every manufacturer usually tries this. Example, if 
if galaxy s6 appears the price of s5 will reluctantly reduce as the oneplus 2 is future proof and a bang for the buck smartphone i recommend you to buy this oneplus 2 that's my opinion so you can also have your opinion opinion also you can check out this oneplus 2 overview if you like this and i will place a card over there if you think this video was useful please click that hit that subscribe button it's a quote of appreciation for me and bye bye